Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So I continue to binge LLM papers and this one caught my eye because it takes a fresh look at how we can use LLMs to write code. Now we've all seen the examples where LLMs like Codex or GitHub Copilot are getting pretty good at solving kind of one page code problems the lead code kind of problems that have a one or two page answer but they're not so good at producing code for larger more complex problems and that's the challenge that this paper is trying to solve the authors start by asking well how do humans solve these more complex problems and the way humans do it is by decomposing a large complex problem into smaller problems and that is the approach that they're trying to get the LLM to mimic their system is called parcel and it is a compiler framework because it's compiling a high level problem description into smaller subcomponents and then trying to get the LLM to generate code for each of those smaller simpler subcomponents. Let's look at an example. So here is an example for the Colatz recursion problem and we want Python code for this. And they have a pretty natural way of expressing this. You start by simply spelling out the function signature. And then you have an English language description of what the function does. And you break it down into two other simpler functions. You have the base case, same thing. You spell out the function signature and an English language description of what you want the function to do. And same thing with the recursion rule, signature, English language description. The other interesting thing to note is this line in red over here, which is a constraint. And a constraint is just an input-output example pair that the implementation needs to satisfy. So here you see the high-level approach that Parcel is taking. You take a complex problem, and you break it down into simpler problems where the role of the human is to break it down into function signatures, describe what each function does, and also provide a few input-output examples. I encourage you to read the paper for the details of how exactly they then feed these descriptions into an LLM, but here is a pretty meta description in Parcel of how Parcel itself works. And one of the things it does is identify strongly connected components among the subproblems that you've specified. And it's these components that are then prompted to the language model to generate code. And you also have to make sure that the constraints, which are the input-output examples, are satisfied by the generated code. Now, here's the really interesting meta idea, which is that you can ask the LLM for help with decomposing your high-level complex problem. They have seen that language models are surprisingly capable of doing this kind of decomposition. This means you can use language models to kickstart the input to a parcel function itself. They try out parcel on a data set called apps, which is a collection of coding challenges in Python. And here, for example, is a parcel program for one of these apps problems. But this problem was generated by Codex. The authors tried this out not just with Python, but two other interesting domains. One is virtual home, which is a robotic planning simulator. And the other one is lean, which is an automatic theorem prover. I know there's been a lot of debate about how all of this affects computer science and programming teaching. And the author spent some time in this paper talking about that. Obviously, things like Copilot are now pretty good at solving intro to CS level coding problems. And what the authors are building here will take that even further, where you can take more complex problems and decompose them and get the models to solve that higher level problem for you. They're trying to make the case that with tools like Parcel, you can have students focus more on problem solving rather than implementation. So that was a look at Parcel, which tries to enhance the code generation capabilities of large language models by mimicking 
the way humans think about problems, which is that they decompose them into smaller problems and perhaps have a few input-output examples to help guide their thinking. And that's exactly the approach that Parcel takes. Links to the paper are going to be in the description. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.